This is what it's like when you have twins. Why are you like this? Turn it on. I see her. She's coming. We got one. Rhea, we're waiting for you. Pardon the interruption, everyone, but this is the uh, obligatory father of a very proud father speech, which is, uh, I just want to say a few words. First off, we are, uh, Richie and I have always said it takes a village to raise a family, and each one of you, whether you know it or not, are part of our village. And whether your family, friends, um, each one of you, whether it's supporting Richie and I, whether it's supporting our girls, have been part of that village, and we are so thrilled that each one of you has taken time to be here with us, and so um, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Um, I also want to give a special shout out to two dear friends who this day doesn't happen uh, without. Um, Chef Tomas Lee, who hopefully clap it up. Just, um, dude. Wonderful. Right here. And Jimmy Neal. Jimmy, Jimmy, you and your team. The bartender. You know, you always hear we're 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 brothers. It's all it's, it's always taking care of me. But let me uh, let me get to the uh, the real heart of the matter, which is uh, these two right here behind me. So, girls, um, when your mom and I got married, we were kind of the youngest of our group that got married. And then we were part of the one of the youngest of our groups who had twins. No, children. Yeah, and we didn't even know what twins were, except for like, holy cow, she was pretty emotional about having twins. I was really excited. This is gonna be like a fun roller coaster ride. But it really didn't hit us until the twins were about a year and a half old. And we're having breakfast in Boston. And we're sitting you know, with them having breakfast. And these two women walk up to our table. And they're 40 years old-ish, and quickly we realized they're sisters, and quickly we realized they're identical twins. And they came to our table, and they started crying, and they started hugging us and telling us how special it is to have identical twins. And we, they pointed over at a table about 20 feet away, and there were about six kids that all looked the same, and they were like, those are our kids. And then we live like two miles away from each other, and we are like the closest things in the world. And at that moment, at least what I felt was, we had truly trapped lightning in a bottle. And watching you girls grow up has been the privilege of your mom and ours lives. And watching you guys, we all know, life is not a straight line. It has lots of twists and turns. And the saying in our family is really simple. It's whether you are uh, falling off a bike, falling off skis, falling Aww. off a horse, Aww. falling out of a kayak, hitting your head. Um, and all the things that you girls have had to do and to overcome, what do you guys do? You get right back up. It may take a little longer, but you get right back up. And I, I'm so proud of you. Um, I'm so proud of your kindness your generosity, your hard work. Um, we are so excited for the future. These guys are going in separate directions. I mean, we got one going in DC, one going in Scottsdale, and um, I know your roads right now. We're so excited that you guys are gonna build your own independent lives and where that's gonna go, but I hope your lives and your roads may lead to each other, but you always know that your road can always come to us because you'll be surrounded with love from your mom, Nikki, I, all of us, your family, your friends. Uh, we love you girls. We're so excited for you from our parents, from our family, from our friends. It's exciting. Let's all raise a glass. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for being here. Drink up, have fun. Nice, Denise.